All right, it's the best two minutes in sports. No, not the hats at the Derby, but the Kentucky nice. Derby itself. It's tomorrow right here on WPTV. 20 horses will run for the roses. The first leg of the Triple Crown. This is at Churchill Downs. Right now, there's not a clear favorite for the race. And our coverage here starts at 4. Post time is just after 6.30. We but, will, but the hat is a We will also be accessory. looking for some great hats, okay? That's everyone, uh, everyone wears at the Derby as well. Uh, we also want to celebrate. So <laughs> we're making a mint julep with the good folks from Okeechobee Steakhouse. It is the uh, drink of the Kentucky Derby and mixologist extraordinaire uh -huh. Inga Skelly is here for that. Nice to see you. Thank you so much and, for having us. I like us. that butterfly. Oh, I, is that so called a fascinator, nice. I think? Yes. Thank you, know. you so much. And you're Very located, cool. we mentioned that the, when John said before about the Okeechobee Steakhouse being in the middle of nowhere 60 some years ago. Yeah. That's Okeechobee Boulevard and Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. Right. That's That road ended there at that time. Incredible. Anyway. All right. Here we are. So it's got to be bourbon if it's Kentucky, if right? It's Kentucky, and it's we choose, bourbon. Yes. And we choose nothing but the best. We oh, have Oh, gosh. Absolutely. Are they hard to make? Not at all. all Let right. me show you. This is our classic recipe at Okeechobee Steakhouse for mint julep. I opt for seven lucky leaves, fresh <laughs> mint. Good. Our homemade simple syrup, oh, okay. two tablespoons. Uh -huh. right. And what we're trying to do is not muddle and break the leaves. We're just releasing the essence of the mint and not the bitterness of the leaves. Oh, okay. So you yes. just kind of mush them up a little bit. Correct. Yeah. But Correct. not squish them completely. Exactly. Okay. Do you have to have fresh ingredients for all of this? I recommend them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Do you have to use a Blanton's or can you come down a, a couple of notches if you want to in bourbon? Maker's Mark works. Okay. As long as you have a Kentucky bourbon, I think Maybe everything Kentucky. works fine. <laughs> we All use right. crushed ice. The crushed ice then absorbs the main ingredients there. All right. Yes. We add uh, a very generous portion of two ounces that, yeah. of Blanton's. That's what steakhouses do. It's always Absolutely. a generous, but a real steakhouse Absolutely. like you are, I mean, you just, it's there generous. There we go. Just light, light, very okay. light stirring. Top it off with more fresh ice. Oh, wow. So you can't portions. just buy like a frozen thing and, you, you know, make it up like that You way. could, you could, but I recommend you beat the right, ice. Right. But this isn't that big a deal, isn't it, to make? I mean, you can... Fresh mint? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Make it pretty. Oh, that's oh, nice. Cool Look that? at you that. like this? Yeah. Yes, that's yes. very pretty. And then you have you stirring sips, and they recommend it by the mint so that as you take a sip, oh, yeah. you're actually nice. oh, the right. aroma of the mint. Well, we'll let um, Mr. Oh, Mr. Mint Julep try you want, it. You want to get me crocked here? All right, yeah, well, Ooh, okay, I, I will so take it. It smells so fresh. You now, know. once again, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for having us. The oh, Derby my. is right here on WPTV News Channel 5. It starts Hi, at 4 o'clock. And if you <laughs> want to make a mint julep for your Derby party tomorrow, just get the recipe from the Okeechobee Steakhouse on WPTV.com. I think the key ingredient is a, K a Kentucky bourbon, a bluegrass cool. steak And a bourbon. generous pour. And a yes. generous Ooh. pour. Nice. Felicia, I'm going <laughs> to sip away.